uh, I guys picked up some new games the other day, so thought I'd show them. Alright, the first game we have here is Jungle Strike, sequel to Desert Strike. Um, I do have both these games on the emulator, and they're a ton of fun, they're simple. You, it's a s helicopter shooting game, it's an overhead view. Start off at the White House, defending the White House. Um, I have played this game on the, I think I played it on the Super Nintendo way back in the day when it first came out. Or er, about three years after it came out, I think. No, I played it when it first came out, I rented it. Uh, it was a lot of fun, very simple game. Um, made by Electronic Arts. Uh, who else made it? Came out in 1993, of course, 16-bit cartridge. This one came to me in immaculate condition, as you can see. It looks pretty much brand new, except for the sticker on the back, which I probably will not remove. I'm not one of those elite gamers that, you know, everything has to be perfect. Um, I really don't care if if it's perfect or not. If, if, if alright, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this game, you start off defending the White House, and you pretty much go from there. I do have, I'm going to play this on emulator probably when I get done with this video so I can kind of get a feel for the game again. Um, I paid, I think it was like three ninety nine for this game, maybe even cheaper, I forget. Um, but yeah, that's why I got this game. Awesome game, by the way. Alien 3, this game, man, can't really focus on this game, this computer, or the camera. Well, this game is a shooter game. You're pretty much timed. You have to go, I guess, disarm a bomb or something. Yeah, I think that might be it. Yeah, Alien 3. Uh, the board looks like it's been switched out on me. I don't... It didn't... I found another copy of the game, but uh, the board looked pretty messed up, so I didn't want to buy it. Uh, so I traded it out, or I just got it on, and it was the same price, $2.99. Uh, cartridge in, is in decent condition. The cover's in pretty decent condition. It's a little banged up, but hey, whatever. It doesn't work all the time. I don't know if that's my friend's Sega Genesis 3 model. Um, this is another shooter. You're pretty much shooting aliens, going through little corridors and down ladders and opening doors. It's 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 another simple game. Side scroller shooter. Lots of fun. Graphics might not be the best. I'm not quite sure on that. Um, from the looks of this, it looks a little bit different than the other Alien games. I think there is another Alien 3 game that's a little different than this. I'm not sure um, if, I, if it's my friend's TV that's making the game look stras drastically different or not, but yeah. Cheap game, loads of fun. So, guys, go to the game stores, pick up games, they're going for cheap. I bought this at Movie Trading Company. Namco Museum, this is the, I think this might be the first edition that actually came out on the PS2. I bought this because it was cheaper than the Namco 50th Anniversary Edition. I could have got that, that and not gotten these other games, but I hey, couldn't pass those up. They're cheap as hell. Um, the games you have here are Pac-Man, Pulp Edition 1 and 2, Galaga, Galaxian, Dig Dug, um, Miss Pac-Man, um, what else do you have? And I think there are some hidden games on here. There are arrangements of the actual games. Like there's an arrangement of Pac-Man, there's an arrangement of Gal um, Galaga. Um, Pole Position 1 and 2 are lots of fun. They're a good challenge. <sighs> um, I have played Pole Position 2 in the actual arcades at the Cinemark up the street from me. They're always known to have some type of Namco game. And the reason I bought this game is after seeing Star Trek, I had to get this game I, after playing Miss Pac-Man. They had a Namco machine there, so... Yeah. Uh, there's ten classic arcade hits on here. Um, I have yet to <laughs> walk them all. I have three new games never released on home co for home console. Hidden games to unlock. Okay. Well, I have only played about four games. Unless they count the arrangements as actual games, I don't count those as games. They are games, but they're not different, so... All I can hope for is there's, you know, a shit ton, shit ton more games on here. Um, as y'all can see, I love arcade games. Uh, the graphics on this one, um, they're not, you know, they're not perfect, but I'm not going to ask for, you know, complete uh, perfectness. I mean, there's a little bit of pixelization. 
the screen is smaller than your standard uh, arcade cabinet would be, and there is bordering. But hey, that just that just goes along with some arcade games. This is how it is. Uh, the graphics are going to be as good as they can get it on a disc, and there is probably some some comp compression used on the uh, games here. So you know, it's a good buy. It was a great buy for ten dollars. I've been playing it uh, ever since I got it. Uh, yeah, this this is going to probably going to be the last batch of games I get for a while until I get a job, which is. Hopefully very soon this game. Um, the shape of it, uh, it's got some stickers I'm going to have to try and remove. I don't know why, but it, this game has gotten around. It's obviously been to Movie Trading Company and GameStop, because they, I know GameStop would like to put their tags on the inside for some stupid ass reason and ruin the packaging. But hey, whatever. Once again, I'm out in the latest. I don't care. Oh yes, show the inside off. Came with the manual. So, can't complain there. Manual's complete also. Nothing wrong with it. Everything's there. Excellent game. Dig Dug. Like I, I might have failed to say Dig Dug is in here, so it is. Uh, that game's a lot of fun. I like how the music uh, stops when you stop moving. And with the music being as fast as it is in some stages, or in it in the game, it kind of stresses you out to the point where you're like, "Oh shit, what do I do?" You know, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get caught by this little monster. Oh, the boss from Japan! Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, this is it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.